Mrs. Big Girl. Forward hat, Bree, shut up. When you got up, cuz what the fuck? Shut up. <coughs> you good? Of course I'm fucking good. I'm here, ain't I? He ain't gonna be back for like 50 minutes. How long breaks do you think I take? I literally only walk away for like a minute and 30. I'm not these other streamers who be dreamers. I don't know what that means, but I said it. I spent my life fighting in the cage. I'm not, I'm not scared of her. I think relationships are a beautiful thing. I think that the synergy between men and women are a beautiful thing if they yes, are it is. correctly collaborated. Yes. I think that that's what makes society function. I think that's what makes the world function. See, I think Jeff, find and, you a nice young lady. And having families are very, very beautiful things as long as it's done correctly. Yes. As long as a woman obeys like she's supposed to. And uh, I think the world can be a beautiful place as long as gender roles are not misconstrued and misunderstood. So if Sean doesn't understand that, I'll correct her quickly and we'll fix the world. Chad, that's the problem with y'all. Gender roles are all misconstrued. A lot of y'all act like girls, Chad, and a lot of your girls act like men. That's your problem, not mine. Well, then we can move on. Where he going? Ain't his entrance right there. Very nice to meet you. Hello. Hi. Oh, you look really nice. Thank you. Let's do two, two, two kisses. One, two. Oh, very, very nice to meet you. What's very your name? nice to meet you. Andrew Tate, what's your name? Andrew, nice to meet you. Um, Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Or Cheyenne Reynolds, if you're doing this at home. Cheyenne there. Reynolds. We're yeah. going to do official. Yeah. Okay, nice Reynolds. to meet you. Cheers. That's lovely. I think she's an uh, attractive woman. Beautiful sort of young lady. Her Friendly ugly demeanor. Um, I can tell she thinks she knows things, so I look forward to correcting her. All right. But that's usually how life works. Finally, see? A man that makes an effort. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah? Oh, okay, where are you from? I'm American, but I lived in England for a long time. I lived in a very prestigious part of the UK. I don't know if you've ever heard of Luton. Very prestigious. prestigious yeah. Yeah, yeah, number one. Luton! Okay. Was not expecting that. She don't know nothing so about Luton that for Luton. A while, and now I live in Europe, so I've oh, just wow. come in. Okay, because your accent, it's like really different, isn't it? It's pretty mixed up. I'm like a street dog, my dear. I've been here, I've been there. Half American, half English, half Luton, half everything else. A bit of a mix. A bit of a mix. Mixed cool. breed. How did you get here today? Uh, I flew in. I flew in this morning. Flew yeah. in. That's different. Something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump okay. on the jet. You flew in on a jet? Who is this guy? Mind what about your you? business. You have a mix, no? Yeah, uh, my family, we're Caribbean and English. So the Caribbean side's the, the crazy side? Or the, English, or the English side's the crazy side? Um, I'd say the Caribbean's the fun side. The fun yeah, a bit side? Of so you're fun and crazy? Not crazy. I mean, it's the beginning of the day, you can't lie. Do I look like I'd lie to you? <laughs> yes. I'm not a liar, actually. I'm you're not, not a liar. liar. Everything you tell me for the rest of this episode is going to be a complete truth. Yeah. Promise me. Yeah. Say I promise. I promise. No, I really promise. Interesting. Honest thoughts and opinions. We'll see. All right, all right, we'll, we'll see, see if she yeah. start lying, uh, chat. So what do you do? Let me think of a lie. Give me a second. No, you can't lie. Mm. You have to tell the truth. I don't have to tell the truth. Why? This, we already agreed you're telling the truth. There's only one of us can tell the truth, one of us can lie. That's not good stuff. I'm a shoe salesman. I sell shoes, socks, shoe accessories, polish, etc., etc. Nice. Yeah, I sell shoes. Yeah. That's good at it? I'm doing all right. Yeah? I'm surviving. Sold two pairs of shoes yesterday. Life's good. Okay, that's good. He's a liar. So tell me a bit about you, Andrew. I'm not comfortable opening up too much. Oh, really? Yeah, because you know you might work for John Law. And the government. The no. government. I have to be careful what I say. Oh, so, so it's not commitment issues. It's not. No, it's not commitment issues. It's sure? more just like legality issues. Oh, okay. I like to go to church. I'm a man of God. S play Scrabble. Listen Do you have faith? Man. Okay, this is good. This is an interesting conversation that we can have on yeah. on camera, which is which is. I say I'd say my personal journey with God is between me and God. So I'm not one of those people that like is like yes I go to church or yes I do this. Um, Don't you think that's a bit like lazy Christianity? No, not really, because for me I believe in love and I believe in faith, and I don't think it's just one religion that you need to follow. You know, I've got friends that are Muslim. I've got friends that are Christian. You know, I've got friends that are spiritual. So I don't to put myself in one category. I understand and I respect that completely, but don't you think out of respect for God himself, whether you're in Dubai and you go to the mosque or you're in England, you go to the church, you should get up early on a Sunday 
I'm more interested in her thighs. Take an hour out of your life and just show some respect. Don't no, agree? because everyone's journey is with God is personal. You can be a lazy. Re stop going to church. Christian. Shut up. Lazy kickboxer, right? I'm a kickboxer, but I don't train. Okay, bro. I understand. Makes lazy, sense. Okay. I'm not lazy. Do you have time for God? Absolutely. That's good. Do you get up early on a Sunday? Completely. That's good. Every single Sunday, of course. That's amazing. And I think that being religious is a beautiful thing, and I think that a lot of people try and say they're spiritual or they're religious in a way, copping out on the one hour a week, it just feels a bit lazy to me. I think you can always find an hour a week. Yeah. No, you definitely could. So maybe God sent me here to you go to church. Maybe. Maybe you're here to enlighten me. We, good I thing we yeah. watching this, because now chat can take their ass to church. Look at you, chat. Now we convinced you need to go to church. Look at you. Get up in there. Talk to the Lord. Yeah. Um, what kind of man are you? What's the spectrum? I bet she tastes to like Spanish rice. What the? Why is it not giving me a notification when you drop in these dollars? Shut up. You're being inappropriate. We're talking about the Lord, nice young lady, bald man, everything you can ask for, and you being weird. Shut up. Buy it for me. Who's at the bottom and who's at the top? For me, I'd just say top like a high value man. What would you say constitutes a high value? Yeah, what is high value? A high value man is someone that is successful. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I'd say it's someone that's got a lot of integrity okay. and good morals. The Lord like her thighs too. I really don't even know if that's true. I really don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? But is very well respected. Is very sure of himself, but also is a very family orientated man. That's from me, a high value man. Okay, it's fine. I'm a high value man. He's very sure of himself. You just described him and he told you that's what he is and now he's, I can't talk to yeah, this lady. Yeah, so what's a high value man for you? Pretty much basically what you said. I think a high value man is a capable man. I think capability can be judged in many different ways. And capability money, baby, is something which varies money, in baby, money, baby, uh. I'm trying to watch the interview and you are ruining it. You need a man who is capable of doing lots of different things that he doesn't do very often. You need a man who's capable of being violent when the time appears. Jesus! Of you need a man who's capable of making money. You need a man who can kill somebody and hold a baby in the same day. You need a man with a very broad spectrum of qualities and assets and capabilities. And this is actually what the most difficult thing about being a man is. Most people, when I say most people, let me change that. Most females don't respect how difficult it is to become a high-value man. That's chat, man. He's describing chat so well. Y'all struggle between murdering someone and nurturing the child at the same time. Chat, y'all can't do that. You're not high value. You're not a high value man. You ain't ready to get that. <laughs> You're not ready to get that job so done, chat. So Look at y'all. It's a very difficult thing to do. You need to be funny and smart and charismatic and interesting. He described me. And, and strong. And, and rich, with a nice car, and a nice apartment. Whereas to be a high value female, you need to be hot. If you're nice, it's a bonus, but it's not even that necessary. That's it. If you're a pretty female, even if you're a piece of shit person, you're gonna get messages on Instagram. Yeah. Whereas if you're a good looking man who lives with his mother, you ain't getting any messages. Chad, no, I get messages, I, I, I just so. don't look at I think that if you're a them. good looking man, that's all you have going for you, I don't think you're gonna succeed very well in life. I know there's very, very pretty girls who have nothing else going for them that manage to do very, very well. Yeah. Do you play chess? I'm okay at it. But if you look at the chess board, right, the queen gets to jump all over the board, and the king has to move one square at a time, and I think that's done very purposefully. If you go to Monaco and you see a yacht and you see a man on that yacht, he had to work his entire life and network his entire life and get up early and deal with stress and tax problems and police problems and work his ass off to buy that boat. Interesting. What does the girl have to do? The girl who's on that boat, the 19-year-old Ukrainian. She had to get a message on Instagram. Boom. So the man moves one square at a time and the queen just jumps on board. This is the point. Female beauty is extremely valuable. The thing is there's a difference between a high value man and a high value woman. For me, a high value woman is what kind of mother is she? What kind I bet of she got the meat. has she got? You know, has she got integrity? Has right. she got morals? Is she loyal? Like all agree. these other qualities, but I feel like men base it on like just an aesthetic level. I agree with you. If I meet a female, I would like her to be all those things, especially loyal. It's the most important thing for a female to be. Are you but loyal? Mr. Loyal, man of God, we already talked about church. But, but, but the point is that to initially attract a mate, females, the most important thing for them is their looks. Whereas a man, I think, is his status. And status is a far more varied spectrum than looks alone. Being good looking alone does not make you a high status male. To be a high status male, you need to have a bunch of things. 
Initially, if you're just pretty, you're going to get attention. Whereas a man, you need to have a bunch of things to just get attention. Interesting. You Do you agree with my point? Mm, not always. Listen, there's men that are funny that aren't that attractive that can get attention. It's like an energy thing. <laughs> I disagree. You disagree? I disagree. I know, I know what you're saying. They can get attention, but I don't think anyone would look at a funny guy who lives with his mom and call him a high-value male. Whereas if you get a really, really beautiful girl. Since when the fuck the in What is going on in this interview? That's all I want to know. Huh? Answer to me. What the hell it is? What's the topic here? They when just talking about stuff. When you go to church to stuff. receive your bald blessings, do you pray or do you take off your hat and let God read your mind? Brain gesture. Brain gesture. Brain. I really don't like none of y'all. Girl, even if she has nothing else going for her, she'd be considered high value. I wouldn't I, say high value, no. Yeah, we can disagree. That's fine. Are you a good partner? The best. Of the best. What makes you the best? Besides you and the police, I don't often answer questions. Okay. He's definitely had a police interview in the past. I don't like to answer open-ended questions because I feel like they're a trap. Why? Because when you speak a lot, it's how you end up getting trapped, right? It doesn't matter if it's a police interview or anything else. The more you talk, the worse. Makes so sense. I want you to be very, very specific with your partner. Money, baby. Money, 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 baby. Money, baby. Oh, man. Nah, he lost me with that one. No, you lost yourself because you don't fucking listen. You were too focused on donating a dollar. Shut up. You would have listened. Them in a way which makes me look the best. Hey, really? Pusto EBK underscore just subscribed. Yes, sir. R R R R R. How can we focus when y'all doing this type of stuff? You're like a, a very confident man that was very sure of himself. He really answer. speaking to you, so. Reese. You don't get bitches cause of your value, dummy. That's not even true in the slightest. Shut up. Mm -hmm. You don't got value. Shut up talking about me. If, if now like we focused on them thighs. No, you can't even see her thighs. Shut up, you freaky fuck. Okay, a very innocent man. Would he just answer the police? Yeah. Look at my... Now we got money, Elf baby, commercials. Money, mm. baby, money, baby. Mm. Shut up, Pen lost this ten goofy. I'm trying to take fucking notes and you're ruining my notepad. You're ruining it. You never dealt with the police, my dear. That's not how it works. Hey, Cha Zero S Warfare just subscribed. If he's innocent. <laughs> then you've never dealt with the police, my dear. That's not how it works. No? No, of course not. That, but he's that innocent. Doesn't mean hey, anything. Hey. Innocent and guilty in, in and of itself. Twenty two lamb paradigm. just subscribed. You, you have to understand that the world we live in, there is no black and white. There is there's no such thing. It's all a sliding scale. If they want to find you guilty, they'll find you guilty. I guarantee you sold something to a, a mate on eBay. Restore dashed three hours for a girl and seen no thighs. To go and didn't pay tax. Boom, you're going to jail. I'm enjoying this conversation and I understand every point she's making and I'm being deliberately I just noticed he looked like Austin Rivers with no hair. Abrasive. However, the truth is about the masculine feminine dynamic is that females like men who are completely in charge and run their life exactly how they want and they comply and bend to the man's wills and lifestyle. To, to come along to a woman and say, how do you want me to be so that you like me is, is, a, death, is a death sentence for the relationship. So that's how it works. What kind of man do you want to be? I want to be a man who lives true to himself and a man who goes to sleep easy at night and a man who knows that He's living true to his biological necessities and, and instincts and mm -hmm. tries his best not to hurt anybody and leaves a positive impact on the world. Are your actions congruent with your words? Yeah. What else would they be? I don't know. I don't know you. So that's why you I'm trying to get to know you. Yeah, we're here to know each other. Of course yeah. they are. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a positive man. I'm a positively inspirational and motivating person. Money, okay. baby. What do you do this motivating? Money, baby. I inspire Money, people baby. to oh. tell the truth. Helping with a hairline transplant. I'm not getting a fucking hair transplant, so how are you helping with something that's not happening? And I think a lot of men live in a world now today where they have to lie. Do you think? In fact, I would basically guarantee that 99% of men are lying at least 80% of the time. That's Chad. You're lying. Even right now. That's all you do is lie. Reese, tell the truth because I ain't got shit to hide. Really? That's a bit bold. I, I think it's true because I think that... So men are liars. Men are liars. Women are correct. Men are liars. Mm -hmm. Women wear makeup because men fall in love with what they see. And men lie because women fall in love with... What they hear. Men are liars because men are in constant. That's actually a banger statement. Women wear makeup because men fall in love with what they see. So women are lying with how they look. Men are lying with what they say because women fall in love with what they're hearing. Oh my God, that's a good analytic thing. Constant competition with other men. 
and they have to find a way to be competitive, and the easiest way to be competitive is to lie. You've been because hiding your hair for years, Reese. You're a bald magician. Brain gesture. Brain gesture. Brain gesture. Brain gesture. Brain gesture. Four K. That's what you're gonna do. It's a lot easier than becoming rich. And women. Money, baby. Money, baby. Money, baby. Uh. Since you have nothing to hide, take the hat off. Chat, y'all do know this video is an hour long, and y'all are. We're only. 12 minutes in you're making it hard to watch an hour-long video do you not know that you're gonna make this video like three hours if y'all keep this up do you not understand that this video is an hour long and we're only 12 minutes in and we've gotten nowhere i haven't heard anything really as long as women are stupid enough to believe it men are dishonest enough to lie for me personally i'm the type of woman that when is the transplant happen? though i stop as in words, I don't get like phased by actions can be a lie. You think flowers can't be a lie? <laughs> you think flowers 25 pounds on a phone call to some dickhead who, delivery dude can't be a lie? No, but there's some like good men that wouldn't, it wouldn't even enter the head that that's a lie. So I feel like everything you're doing is just very calculated. Life is calculated. All it's men not, lie. It's, it's really not. Men lie life because, not. yeah, life, life at the upper echelons, upper at the highest echelons. echelons Broken, we just get hard. skipped to the point where she gets basted like a turkey. I'm trying to see that body. Calculated. Every single man at the top echelon of life is a calculated man. You don't get there by accident. Okay, so do you want to get to the top? I'm already at the top echelon of man. And when you're at the top echelon of man, it's a very, very calculated process. You don't get there by accident. Nothing good in life happens on accident. Really when don't. you say men don't lie because you believe in actions, I'm saying a lot of actions are lies. Am I high value women in your eyes? You're very good looking. So I would say, uh, yeah, absolutely. You're beautiful. You seem like you're a good person. You seem intelligent. If she ain't got no kids, she high value to me. I, ain't, I can't lie. If she got kids, that lowers the, the high scale of the value thingy. You're not stupid. So I'd say you're a high-value woman, but your actions dictate that, right? The most important actions a woman can undertake is loyalty. Every man out here knows that disloyalty is the most disgusting. Thing she has a kid? No! She ruined it. Now the scale is lopsided. She fucked it up. Never do to her man. But are you loyal? Let's not pretend that male loyalty and female loyalty are the same thing. But loyalty is loyalty. No, but they're not the same thing, are they? Why is it not? Because men and women are not the same. We are not the same. You are correct there. Okay, so we agree. No, but I'm not agreeing to people being dishonest, cheaters, liars. Mm. He's deluded. Why do you think men and women are different? We carry children. Correct. You know, we nurture. We're, you know, compassionate, emotional beings. Yep. Men are very different. No, somebody in my chat like that. That sounds like some of y'all, actually. I agree. However, I don't think it's very fair for men to sit with the opinion that it's acceptable for men to cheat. I didn't even say that, but I think if we, as intelligent, logical beings, as you are and as I am, if we agree that men and women are not the same, then our paradigms on how we act, enact in certain regards cannot be seen as the same. So, right? if, but, so if I'm with you Correct. Yeah. and I then cheat. That's disgusting. I can't believe you even said that on, on YouTube. Why would she even you say that? said that on YouTube. I'm sorry to the world. Please don't listen to this. No, but it happens. No, 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 no. It happens. No, 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 no. She said it happens. Look at this lady. It just happens. Please don't say this on YouTube. You're going to corrupt the youth. I'm sorry for her. I'll pray for her. These things can't be said. Women can't do that. It's just no Women way. can't do that. So it's a double standard. It's a double standard. But life is full of double standards. Yeah, but it doesn't mean any, like, listen, regardless with your philosophies and everything that you keep from It's not my philosophy. No, but I'm saying, okay, life is full of double standards. Correct. I understand that. But in a relationship, Correct. it's a partnership. Yes. Right. You and me, we're together. Since when? You know what I'm saying. When you're, when you're trying to build a partnership and a life with someone, yeah. the end goal is you two together. Agreed. So why cheat? I know. I understand where you're coming from. My point is that relationships and life is full of double standards as a whole. A man's going to pay for everything everywhere you go, right? This is, this is duty as a man. Do you agree? No, I do like traditional. Okay, so you agree. So you're traditional, right? So if you want to talk about traditional, let's talk about tradition. Every single man since the dawn of human time had more than one woman. Every single king, every single emperor, every single sultan, every single conqueror since the dawn of human time. Jesus. All, every single one. Read the history, Sub read the Bible. It's all in there. The Quran, all of it. You want to talk about tradition, it's all there. The only reason your mind is different, the only reason you believe differently is because the society. Society has come along and told you something. Yeah, but society, we can change. Like, the world evolves, things change. The world evolves, yeah, that's right. Now, now, now men can't cut their dicks off and their chicks. You oh! Believe, you got the f***ing? You believe in any of this crap? It's all a lie. I feel like ah! life is about choices. Life is about choices, correct. My point is this. If I had a woman, I would decide not to cheat because I decide 
However, I would not see my infidelity as nearly anywhere near even 1% as disgusting as female infidelity, because female infidelity dis involves emotion. You will not sleep with a man you don't like. I can sleep with a woman I don't like. It's a completely different thing. I can be head over heels in love with a woman, ready to die for her, ready to take a bullet for her, protect her, give her all the money in the world, make sure she has a beautiful family, a nice big house, all of it. And I'll still f that bitch. Watch me. Watch a woman you. won't do that. Yes. So don't lie to me and pretend. Yes, no, you won't. Any woman who will sit here and say, I can f dudes and not care about them is fundamentally broken. Her soul is broken. Yeah, her broken, soul is broken. Well, if she's broken, she ain't anywhere near me. I don't want no broken bitch near me. <laughs> I'm definitely sure we're in the trick. On you. you think so? Mm -hmm. Well, those are the kind of women I will not associate with. <laughs> Females shouldn't even want to cheat. And the reason women can't cheat is because there's no way to ensure paternity if a female's cheating. Modern science in and of itself, just because you can now find out who the dad is, doesn't undo 5,000 years of human evolution in which a female had to be loyal to one man so we knew exactly who the father was. If a man has multiple partners, you know who the mother is, you know who the father is. If a woman has multiple partners, nobody knows who the dad is, nobody wants to look after the kid, and a woman with a child without a father or without a man around in the ancient world was toast. He talks a lot of nothing. Grammarly adds confidence. Shit, I don't know what's going on, but we're getting somewhere. We're making progress, Chad. I would never ever be with a girl who cheats on me, and I would never yeah, ever. You can't, you can't, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. can. Yes, I no, can. No, you can't. Of course I can. No, you can't. Like, because the thing is, with, like. Women sleep with who something. they want, men sleep with who they can stay woke, Chad. I'm assuming, you know, do you have a nice life? Like... Now in the chat going away. Y'all did this to yourself. No more chat. Wait. Now no more chat on the screen. Y'all, y'all did that. Look now in the chat gone. You proud of yourself? Y'all on timeout. Shut up. Now y'all gotta shut up. Um, no, but I'm up. saying you have a nice life. You live a good lifestyle. Women will just see you as an opportunity. If I was, a, if I was a dumbass, yeah, correct. Yeah, but this one said, but your attitude is what keeps a woman also. Like, do you think a high value woman is gonna sit there and tolerate a man condescending and talking to her and being like, we're different and we're this, we're that, because we're not. A woman, knows her, a woman that knows her worth is not gonna tolerate that. As professionals, we discussed the infidelity of females. And I said that female infidelity is more disgusting than male infidelity. And I think that the world agrees with me. History agrees with me. The Bible agrees with me. The Quran agrees with me. Every single book you can read from history says that females who are promiscuous should either be stoned to death oh! or at least cast out from society. Female promiscuity is a brand new concept. This is brand new amongst society. The idea that women can sleep with a bunch of dudes and it doesn't matter is a brand new idea. 30, 40 years old, maybe. Even today, nobody respects it, deep down. When a girl shoots a girl, she doesn't Turn like the chat it. back on, bro. Does, she's... Don't you hear him talking about life? Shut up. Today, nobody respects it, deep down. When a girl shoots a girl she doesn't like, you know the first thing she does? She says she's a you know why? Because they know deep down that female promiscuity is disgusting, it's revolting. So the whole idea of a female wanting to sleep with more than one man at a time is haram. And they know it inside of their souls, inside of their hearts. I don't think so. As yes, they do. As does a man. As yes, Whereas they a man, do. if he sleeps with a bunch of chicks, doesn't matter. Who cares? So would you be with me if I'd slept with over 50 men? <sighs> he had to take a deep breath on that one. Oh, he got to pray. Jesus. I'm a high-value woman, right? <laughs> You said it yourself. How can you be high value if 50 men have slept with you? Oh! I've been single for a long time. No, unacceptable. Why Around. is it unacceptable? Around. A body count is probably the number one most easiest way to judge the value of a female. I actually think okay. that 90, no, 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 no. I'm going to say this. What are you about to say? I think 99 Three weeks with no stream. Something got to come off. Either her dress or your hat. I ain't opposed to either. Like you, Reese, I have an open mind. problems and no one's going to understand this but if you can extrapolate if you can listen to this statement and extrapolate it out towards society at large extrapolate i think 99 percent of the world's problems would be solved if females walked through life with their body count on their forehead ah because it would prevent because it would prevent all of the disintegration of morals it would prevent so many things about the world but you know, you know? there's like a and women would be like <laughs> to be with me as a man <laughs> I don't want to put another number on my forehead. You have to be a good man. They wouldn't stop f***ing these idiots and stop being idiots. And all the idiocy would disappear. All the degeneracy would disappear. Families would return. Virgins meeting their first man, staying with him her whole life and being proud of it. Wouldn't, couldn't we go back to such a beautiful age? All we have to do is start putting numbers on girls' foreheads. We could fix everything. 
that attitude is disgusting. It's not about women's body count. That would not like minimize any problems. Men like you are the problem, Andrew. Women, I myself am one of them, I'm sick of men that have this really disgusting outlook on women, policing women's bodies. Listen, if I want to sleep with this many people, I can and I will. Yeah, but what you're not getting is, there's this whole hyper, toxic, independent movement of women, yeah. right? We are doing things because it's kind of, now it's our choice, but it's kind of like by force in the sense of, it's like honey we're so liberated. Honey, baby, honey, really baby, honey, baby. Uh. Put us back on Reese. Shut up, you you did this to yourself. Did with men on their power trip, on their this. So it's like, oh, if you can do it, we can do it. But this is what I said, but you, you men that think the way you think have created that. I understand your point. However, you're wrong. Uh, <laughs> she thinks I'm arrogant. I'm being arrogant on purpose. I must admit, annoying her is, is kind of fun. No I one think wants that, to uh, pay 10K for a car that has 200K miles. Shut up. Stop trying to use that metaphor about women. Nobody want to buy a 10K car with 200. Shut up. You know what? I'm being so nice. I'm being so nice to you. I say I think instead of I know. This motherfucker using metaphors and shit. Nobody want a 10K car. Just say you don't want a hoe. Just shut up. Just him being nice. The answer is I know. I know. Females who sleep with lots of men. First things first. I don't think that women naturally, intrinsically want to do that. I think that's societal programming. Yeah. I think that women... No, but I, I agree. This is what I'm saying to you. Like, there's yeah. things that you're saying, like, I don't disagree with certain things you're saying, but going back to my point, it's like by force. I don't like, want to I, hope. It's to... I swear to God. Prove a point. It's like this power struggle. Like, I personally don't want to sit and sleep with loads of men. I don't care. Like, Good. I don't We're getting to... somewhere. You see, God, Jesus, I'm getting her. Please, little by little. Got two hours left. Give me some time. I'll fix it. No, but if I want to, then I'm going to. Sorry, but that's where, Sorry. That's... <laughs> No, but genuinely, but that's what you need to understand. No, you will not. Because God will frown upon you. You can't do and that. And you, and you. Do you mean and me? <laughs> it doesn't say in the Bible I can't do that. Read the book. I can do whatever I want. I'm a man. Women can't do those things. It's disgusting. Do I can't you, believe you're mean, poisoning the youth on YouTube. Why is he shouting? <laughs> the idea that... Why is he yelling? That a woman can sleep with as many people as she wants, she wants just because she wants to is wrong. It's absolutely wrong. Every man knows it and every woman knows it. Women should not do that. And the whole idea and the whole concept that females can adopt the promiscuity of males, because males have always been promiscuous. Right? But there's actually a lot of men that are like good loyal men, just so you know. Do you think so? Absolutely. Absolutely. I know very good men. Would you, would you deem them high value men? Oh, absolutely. Successful. Everything that I listed earlier, 100%. And they don't cheat, right? Yeah. It's possible. <laughs> <laughs> this, no, seriously, this guy is so toxic, and the only kind of people that listen to his kind of his advice are broke men or heartbroken men that are insecure. I think that if a man has options over a long enough time frame, he's going to eventually probably explore one of them options. Now, I'm not saying he's going to love another woman. I'm saying that a man who, when a man's in love, he only loves one girl. I agree with that. I believe in love. I believe a man cares about a chick. I believe a man should take care of a woman. I believe he should come home to the same place every day. I believe all those things. However, I think if a man truly has options, truly, that both the man and the woman understand that at some point he's gonna explore those options. No, listen, if, if I'm with you, do you think I'm gonna allow you to explore other options? It's either you're with me or you're not, go, go be single then. Cool. Like what, but realistically, what's, what self-respecting woman is gonna sit there and tolerate you I don't, I don't cheat. I don't cheat. I'm a good man. Saying, I don't but cheat. What woman is going to? If you have all these other options, no, no, no. Because I... well, I'll tell you what's more powerful, what's more alpha, yeah. and what's more attractive, what's and what's alpha? more high value Correct. is a man that can respect his woman, yeah, love her, not cheat on her, not disregard her, not see himself above her, not see him as you know she's his slave or anything like that. See her as an equal, treat her with respect, and put her on that. That's more powerful. A partnership, two people. Not oh, I'm a man. I have options. I'm going to explore them. Listen, if you're a cheater, you're a cheater. If you're a loyal person, you're a loyal person. A cheater. That's it. Like in the first things first, men and women are not equal. We'll talk about that in a second. Secondly, is that if a woman sees, a, if sees Chris Brown in the club, do you think she's like, wow, he'll be loyal? <laughs> Fuck no, she doesn't care. Like at high enough status as a man, women don't even care about loyalty. Women don't even care about loyalty at high enough status. I'm not, and I don't cheat. Okay, Listen, no, I'm a man of God, I go to church. I don't cheat. I'm talking about in general. Okay, We're talking but I'm, about what I'm society. trying to explain to you, though, is because maybe your perception of what a high value woman is is warped. 
because I'm a high value woman, I make my own money, I possess all the qualities that I listed earlier, right? I believe I'm not gonna be with a man that's gonna cheat. I'm not gonna look at a man like Chris Brown and be like, oh my God, like he's loyal. It, you, see, you see it as face value, you know he's a cheat and maybe he'd just be a one night guy. Cool. Just like you men do it to Would you him, sleep with him for one night? Him. I don't think I would. I hope not, because that would not make you a one night. Extrapolate is the word of the day. Extrapolate. When you hold yourself in high regard, you don't need to do those things. So the kind of caliber of women that go for men like that and these opportunities don't have that much self-worth because it's what you're going to go with a man that's only deep, like only values you for one night. So it says a lot about the quality of a woman. All right, so, so we so agree so on saying, something. But I'm saying, so when you generalize about women, don't do that because don't there are many high value <laughs> women who would refuse him that will not tolerate that. Completely. I'm not saying that. My point is you completely misunderstand me. I'm saying at a certain point, females aren't even interested in loyalty. Do you think people, do you think all the girls with Dan Bilzerian think he's loyal? I'm not saying every girl will go with him. I'm saying there are certain girls at a certain level of male achievement who are not interested in loyalty. But is that attractive? Like for me personally, that's not attractive to sit there Good. and see a man that thinks it's cool to have loads of f women around him. Be it. like, oh my God, they're bitches. This is that. I have all this money. Oh! That doesn't impress me. That doesn't impress a lot of women. It's I agree. about raising a family. It's I agree. about unity and stuff. I agree. But everything that you were saying, that it, it's not that. I'm talking about all these celebrities X, Y, Z. At a high enough value, when they have options, they will explore them. That's what I'm saying. And I'm also saying that if a man did decide to explore his options, it would not be as disgusting as if a female decided to explore okay, options. Okay, well, no, it's be disgusting, disgusting then. Disgusting. No, it's different if a woman does it. It's different if a woman does it. Everyone watching this knows it's different if a woman cheats. It's different. Honestly, men with these sexist views, like, it's so outdated. What kind of relationship do you have with your mother? A good one. A good one? Yeah, I take care of her. And, and, and also that paradigm, the whole idea that if you find a man who's good with his mom, then he's good with girls, that's, that's, that's bullshit. No, no, it was just more because I find that your thoughts towards women are quite disrespectful. You think so? so? Why? This arrogance that you've got. Don't tell me what, I'd actually like to know what I've said that so far. No, I'm just, just saying, it's, it's not, you don't have to say anything. It's like energy speaks volumes because you're not actually listening to what I'm saying. I'm listening to everything you're saying. I don't think you're listening to what I'm saying. I'm saying women shouldn't sleep with lots of men and they should fall in love with one man and stay with that man. And if that man takes care of them and ends up across 20 years sleeping with one chick once, you shouldn't leave him. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And the point I'm making is completely valid. And if a woman sleeps with one man once, that's unacceptable. What, if a man does it, it's, it's acceptable. This what just goes to you, show you, you that all bald me. men think alike. Shut up, you goofy ass. I think in a healthy relationship, there's always a leader. Whether it's Interesting. A man or a woman. I think that she need to put me in a hurricane run or a figure four leg lock. Should be submissive Preferably to both, then pin me in a roll of fifty man feet man from the rope. Brain gesture. Brain gesture. And I don't think women should be submissive when they're not rewarded. Right? If, if a captain is in charge of a ship, he's responsible for the ship, right? Mm -hmm. If he's mm -hmm. responsible for the ship, he has authority over the ship. Yes, he and does. It's a, um, a woman. I'm not sure. Okay. A relationship. Sorry. Okay, the ship is a relationship. I know exactly what this guy's doing. He's just like talking in riddles. Like none of it actually makes sense if you actually listen to what he's saying. So I think if a man has responsibility and he takes care of the woman and improves her life and makes sure that every single facet of her life, whether spiritual, physical, financial, etc., is taken care of, then he should have some degree of authority. I don't see why a man would take care of a woman and have no authority over her while accepting all of the responsibility that's getting played. You're an independent woman. Maybe you make your own money. You want to do all those own things. That's fine. Fantastic. But if, if I had a woman, I would say, look, I like that you do your own things. I like that you do your jobs, but let's keep it part time. I want you to come with me. We got to go here. We got to go there. I'm taking you around the world. You're with me. I'm taking care of you, etc. And I'd expect her to listen to me in return. Why wouldn't she? I'm not going to tell you to do anything wrong or bad. But if I were to say, I don't like that dude. Stop talking to him. I'm her man, not that dude. It shouldn't even be a competition. It should be all right. Cool. Block. Mm. Well, why wouldn't it be? But then if I said I didn't like that woman. Interesting observations here, chat. We're we're looking at the the observations. That's your problem. Y'all don't keep your ears to the street. This is what I'm saying. It's just a double standard, and it's just like a power struggle. Like it's about balance. Life, you know. And this is the thing. Like I feel a lot of women could give you that life and be like, you know what? He can have a girlfriend. He can. There's so many people that are into that. I'm not even saying no. I'm not no, a cheater. No, but I'm saying there's people that are into that. Correct. But, but I'm not a cheater. I don't but, want anyone to think this is about me. I'm talking women, about in general. This nib is the opposite of what he's saying. I bet you he I, pays I might for think the kitty. Actually, I'm listening to everything you're saying. I'm agreeing and I'm liking it. But then, if you've got me out here looking stupid because you might be in clubs with all these women around you, making me look like a f idiot, do you think I'm going to tolerate that? No. When you have men like. 
you have explained, it's as if you're trying to prove a point to the world that you're yeah. this great man that has all these options no, and I you're agree. so successful. I agree. Like, with it you. doesn't work. Like I agree that. with you. If if there was a man, which is not me, because I'm a one woman man. But if there was a man who decided to have multiple girlfriends, his approach certainly would... What the fuck are we talking about? He keeps saying it's not me. <laughs> if there was a man, that's not me. I'm not doing none of that. Why the fuck are we talking about him then? Huh? Why we keep bringing him up? He'd be sitting down and saying it the way I'm saying it. The point I'm trying to make is, I think that the idea of a man having a girlfriend who he loves and maybe sometimes stepping out is not nearly as offensive as the idea of a woman having a man she loves and sometimes stepping out. Uh, we're getting to the grilling, chat. It's 4th of July. This is when the fucking grill comes out. Let's go. You know, go. I watched American Pie the other week. This is the grill. That would have been the best time to be alive. You know, like 2003. Like, you can still call the people you care about if it's a real emergency. 50 Cent was, was on his wave. And that 2003 would seem like a good time. LeBron came to the league. But no one's glued to their phone. Yeah. No one's scrolling social media. LeBron no one's trying rookie. to take an Instagram Things picture. Like Everyone's that. just at the crappy party, enjoying the crappy party. Like, if you go to Dubai and you look around the bar, half the people aren't having fun. They're just purely yeah. trying to get Insta stories to, to look like they're having fun. Like they're having so fun. it's pure like, ha, 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 Okay, so I'll, I think that a lot of people now are doing things not because they enjoy them, because other people will think they're having fun and it's more about creating envy as opposed to actually enjoying yourself. Right. If you go on a really fun night out, you don't take your phone out. So when I see someone who went on a night out and took 20 stories dancing and laughing and, and having a great time, I know they're bored. Yeah, they're not in the moment. Do you know what I mean? Because if you really have a great night out, you don't take any stories and you, you forget to check your phone. Social media has completely and utterly changed the world. It's changed the way that we function. It's changed the way that we go out. It's changed even the places we go. See, Chad, social media changed you in particular. Look at this. Y'all don't even notice that you're different because of social media. Reese? I stayed the same. Social media now runs the world. We live in an attention society and people Look will do anything for attention. Wanting attention. Attention, attention is a currency and you can turn attention into money. Jake Paul is not rich because he's a boxer. He's rich because he used the attention he gets and monetized it via boxing. So in the attention economy we now live in, you have to understand that your attention is valuable, especially as a man. And women are out here today trying to extract your attention from you without returning anything. That's what the male-female friendship is. In the old days, men would give attention in return for sex. But nowadays, men just give attention and don't get any sex back. That sounds that's like some chat would do. That hairline didn't so say the same. For men out there, if you're following a woman and you have zero chance of f***ing her and she ain't replying to your DMs, stop following her. Like, when's the last time you truly, truly lived in the moment? I think I personally lived in the moment a lot. No, no, but that's a good thing, right? That's a beautiful thing. And that's, a, that's actually a, an asset. Like, my brother is very similar to that. But the problem is, if you live very, very much in the moment and you're not on your phone, I feel like and I can only talk from the masculine perspective, you're not competitive. Because as a man, you need to be doing things, talking to people, making money, moving things, so you have to be on your phone all the time. I really like how you just delivered what you said, but I just find it crazy how we've just sat and said about people need to live in the moment and that, but then like you've sold courses, trying to explain to people how to be like that. I, it's just aspire for this, this, this. I, 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 understand, I understand what you mean, but unfortunately, and it's an unfortunate reality of the world, is that it's player versus player. Like, if you, if you go to a video game, you play Call of Duty, right? There's 20 that people That sounds like something chat would do. And the world is very, very similar financially. I'm not saying we should be out here killing each other, but I'm trying to explain that there's a certain amount of resource and everyone's trying to get it. And I understand your perspective, but your perspective is feminine, as it should be because you're a woman, right? But the masculine imperative and the masculine perspective is you have to understand that life is war. It's a war for the female you want. It's a, comp it's a competition. Every, chick's trying, every man's trying to get her. It's a war for the car you want. It's a war for the money you want. It's a war for the status. It's a war. Ma masculine life is war. If you're a man who doesn't view life as war, you're Chad, going to lose. We add so war, war, and you don't even know it. You've been letting yourself get shot in the back. You've been at war this whole time. You didn't even notice. You have that. to wake up and think. Okay, everything I want, other men want. I have to outcompete every other man to get it. Look at that. So how am I going to do that? Am I going to do that by living in the moment, ignoring my phone, having a fun picnic? Do you believe in men's mental health? You are kind of like the problem in society in a sense of Thank it's you. fast car, women, lifestyle. <laughs> no, but it is. This, this is the problem. It's not my problem. I'm not saying it's your problem directly, but I'm saying this is the problem. Yes, all men probably want to aspire for that. Yeah. But do you see the pressure there Completely. is on men? Completely. It is much harder to be a man than be a woman. Okay, so what's your thoughts on men's mental health? I agree. It's much harder to be a man than be a woman, huh? which is basically what you just said. <laughs> Society's expectations of men is much higher than the societal, societal expectations of females. I agree. Much more is expected of us. I agree. It's a harder game. 
just like every other video game on earth. It's a harder game, but if you complete it, you get a higher score. I think that being a top tier male is the best human experience that any human can have. Interesting. I think that being a female would not compare in any way to being a top level man. Mm, no, but no, no, no reason why. There's experiences, right? Like women, we can literally carry lives inside of us. I agree with you and I'm actually glad you chose that experience because that's the most important thing a female can do and I agree with you and I understand it's a beautiful thing because there's no society and there's no world without life. I agree with you. However, I think that as a man, you can build an empire. There's conquest as a man. And I think as a female, it's not quite the same. And I'm not saying this in any kind of way that disrespects females. I don't want people to look at this and think I'm disrespecting females. I'm not. I'm saying we have different roles. Yeah. We do different things. Different. And women give life. Women have a very, very important role. Probably the most important role in society. Women are, are beautiful creatures that do something separate that men cannot do. I think a top tier male is more unique than a beautiful woman. I think that you get to build an empire. I think that you get to be respected and feared in a way that women never are. I understand that that's a very, very unique human experience, right? Most men never ever get there. The reality of life for most men is absolutely depressing. I completely understand when you talk about male so mental health. He got so on penny loafers socks. with no socks. It's clean, shut up. Like you wear loafers with socks all the time. No, absolutely not. Because I understood that as a man, you must build yourself. As a female, so, you can be but born. Like, but did you not like, we need to stop going into philosophies and just stuff, because I'm actually trying to, I want to understand you. Okay. Right. So you, have you or have you not experienced mental health? No. Zero. Okay, so how do you cope with stress? She grilling his ass now. She trying to break down him speaking in hypotheticals and start getting to the person with the bald head. I like that she trying to break that down. Emotions. Express your emotions when you're frustrated or when you're stressed. Good question. And if, if I'm stressed or I'm frustrated, then I understand it's my time to perform. And I agree that society puts huge pressure on men and it's time for men to perform. As a man, you either perform or you don't. It's, there's, no, there's no safety net like there is for females. Females can wake up and say, I don't feel like it. Yeah, but there is for men. No, there isn't. There is. The men who yes, say, I can't feel like it, cannot compete with the men who do not say that. And it is player versus player. The man who goes to the gym every single day, regardless of how he feels, will always beat the man who goes to the gym when he feels like going to the gym. And it's player <laughs> versus player. And let me tell you something. As much as you want to sit here and disagree with me, it's women who decide who the winner is. You will choose the man who's in fantastic shape. You'll choose the man with all his money right. I like a dad bod, personally. Okay, well, that maybe you're, a, you're an exception because you're an angel. But in general, <laughs> we're talking in general generalizations because exceptions do not disprove the rule. Females will choose the man who's in fantastic shape. Females will choose the man who's got his money right. Females will choose the man who can fix any problem. Females will choose the man when they can go to him and say everything's f Can you fix this? And he says yes without panicking. That's who women want. Women decide who the winner is. Women don't want the man when you come to him with your problems and he goes, Oh, I'm too stressed today. Tell me tomorrow. No. Women don't want that. Yeah, but women also don't want a dickhead. But having your life in order doesn't make you a dickhead. You can have all those things. Correct. But then there's that fine line where your ego gets a bit too much, for example, like you could be very successful, you can have good looking women that are attracted to you, you can just have all those qualities, right. but then once you possess that, you then suddenly can go past that line, your ego, then you start to become an arsehole. I agree with you, but I'm not talking about that. I think that's a separate conversation. It's not. I'm just, I'm just saying, no, I agree with everything. That's what I'm saying. Like for me, I agree with everything you're saying, but what I'm trying to argue is that men get successful, they become even more narcissistic, and they just are not nice people to be around. You're very, very smart. Thank you. You are. But you're doing what most females do, and you're conflating issues. So when you conflate, what you do is you mix two issues together to try and prove your point. No, I'm actually, I've just been asking you personal questions, Correct. and every time you give me a philosophy No, it's not it. a philosophy. No, but I'm saying in general, when I'm asking you, I'm trying to get to know you. On a level, how does a woman like me get to know a gentleman like you? Here at this beautiful, nice, civil dinner we're having here. This with is no, a lovely no dinner. animosity at all. Look at this. You asked me about men's mental health. My answer was explaining that as a man, you don't have the luxury. Oops, I don't feel like it. Farmer Curry, 36,914, just subscribed. Oh, all ITZ Morant. Do I look like John ja Morant to you? Why would you say it's Morant, huh? Shut up. I, know, I keep cutting you, but I'm just like, because this is the part that gets really frustrating for me. Like, men with this mindset that you have, like, I get it. Okay, great. You are alpha. You've achieved it's all not these about things. Alpha. No, but I'm saying, like, you possess all these. It's great. But you are the problem. You're creating this pressure creating on men and problem. society. Like, no, it's so I'm not creating a pressure. But, you, but you, men can actually, successful men can actually be like, oh, okay, I don't actually feel like it today. Like, they actually can I understand. take a break and rest at that I wall. understand. My point is that it's player versus player. And if you're a man who's going to constantly give in to mental First health. First time in 
Prince Dream was so pretty. It's been watching a while, had to stop by. I wish you just stopped by and shut up! Stop talking to us! Trouble. You're not gonna be able to compete with the men who don't. Okay, but can we validate That's men it. that have. Completely! If you have mental health. So we're not, we can't go play a pledge, just validate men that have mental health issues. Absolutely. Okay. Men who have mental health okay. issues, I hope them, I wish them the best in the world. Okay, great. But when they come to me and say, and I get this all the time, Andrew, I have this problem, I'm depressed, and I can't go to the gym. I say, no, I disagree. You're depressed because you don't go to the gym. If you go to the gym, you might start to feel better, right? I'm saying you can't sit as a man and afford the luxury of saying, I have a mental health issue today, I'm sad today, I'm stressed today, I'm emotional today, I can't work. Because you will lose against the men who don't do that. And male, the male world is more competitive than you could possibly imagine. And Look it's the women that. who pick the winners. So it's, no, okay. I, find it, I find it very interesting that a woman sits here to me and says, no, men are allowed to sit around and do yeah, fuck all and feel sad. And those about are the men again. they ignore. God damn it, man. We're getting to the juicy answer. And you're fucking it up. Wait, what are we talking about? We talking about you shutting or, up. When they DM. No, 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 no. Those are the men that ignore, no, they ignore them all. No, actually, can I just, can I just chime in here? They DM. No, 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 no. Those are the men that ignore, no. they ignore them all. They ignore them all. I'm trying to ignore chat. No, actually, can I just, can I just chime in here? So, for example, everything you've said, you've possessed, you've proved your point, right? But as a high value woman, if I respect and love my partner, I'm not putting that pressure, I would say, Babe, you know what? You can have a little rest. Like, there are women that actually enable men to feel, process that emotion. Agree. But yeah, so we'll still go back to tomorrow, okay. Agree. Let's go back to work, work, work. But there are good women out there that don't put that pressure. I feel like your reality on women is warped no, because of a certain you. caliber of no. women. Yes, it is. I agree. You're right. But you need to, you're missing a very vital point of that story. You're right. Vital. But the, as a high value woman, before you say to that man, you can have a day off and you're allowed to be sad today, you will only even get with him let me change that. You will only even acknowledge he exists if he's ignored how he feels 99% of the time before that. Because if he was sad most of the time before that, he never would have got to a place where he could attract a woman like you. The man who works... That's the truth of the situation, Chad. This is why life is so damn hard, man. In Starbucks, who's sad all the time, you won't reply to him. Ne neither will any other female. So for women to come along and pretend they give a... About the fact that most men are basic, most men are basically invisible. There is not a female on the planet who's invisible today. You can be a four, overweight, fat, you'll still go to the club and get attention. 99% of the men go to the club and nobody even fucking talks to them. If they try and talk to a girl, they get blanked and ignored and told to f Most men are absolutely and utterly invisible. This is the truth about masculinity, right? It's very easy for women to sit here and complain about the top 2% of men because I dealt with this guy, he's arrogant, blah, 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 blah. Most men don't even exist. They send 10,000 DMs and never even get read, let alone replied to. That sound like chat right there. I think y'all got experience in that area. Yeah, y'all be, be DMing girls and they don't reply, but somebody like me. <laughs> so if you just sit here and say, I'll get a G, a big G, a boss, a millionaire, and let him have a day off, very nice of you. I'm sure you would. But if you go, oh if a guy God, look at his goofy ass lady, yeah, a millionaire, and let him have a day off, very nice of you. I'm sure you would. Yeah. But <laughs> she all have, yeah, <laughs> she not even fucking listening, man. He just said fucking ninety percent of the men ain't getting no girls. He talking about your little you millionaire. You got left in the rain, nasty oh, fu. Shut up, man. But if you got, if a guy who wanted to have days off all the time, he never would have got important enough in the first place to attract a woman like you. And that is the reality. As a man, it's player versus player. It's ultimately competitive. And as a man, you have to outcompete the other men who are prepared to get up and do it anyway. That's how it works. There's no such thing as saying, I'm sad, I need two weeks off. Not as a man if you want to be important. Maybe as a chick, you can always put more foundation on and be hot again. Great. Not as a man. If you want to be important as a man, you have shit to do. You have duties. This is how it exists. This is how it's always been. That's chat problem. Y'all ain't got duty. Y'all don't go to the bathroom. What do you mean it sounds like us? It sounds more like you. Ooh. How you gonna tell me what it sounds like to me about me, huh? Like you got everything all fucking figured out around here. Shut up. Talking about that sound like me. That's you. You the problem. Why are you wearing glasses? Sunglasses. Yeah, we're inside. We are inside. Very perspicacious of you. I have bad eyes. You have bad eyes. I have bad eyes because after so many fights in the ring, I had a retina detachment, and there's a lot of bright lights here, and it makes my eyes very uncomfortable. I don't want to squint on camera. 
so I'm wearing sunglasses. So if you want to continue to make fun of my medical condition. Why would I make fun of it? You just tried. <laughs> I know you just tried. No, no, it's fine. No, no, it's fine. No, it, wasn't. it was a genuine question. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just tried to make mock no. me. It's fine. First is men, men, men's and mental health, but if you've got a retinal detachment, it's fine. No, no, ha, ha, ha. Actually, it's funny I was, now. I, actually, I was asking you. She is such a jerk. Why would she make fun of his um, detached retina? Because eye contact is important to gauge conversation. Is it? I you want to look in my know, eyes? Like how we're enjoying it? Yeah. Let me see. We no. give it a few minutes. It's, you know, etiquette, isn't it? it is. ah! You're, right, it's You're right, it's polite. Austin okay. Rivers, polite. put your glasses cheers back on. Cheers, the glasses off. Cheers. To detach retinas. <laughs> cheers. Are you happy? I think that money buys freedom and freedom buys happiness. I think that the rich people of the world, the number one most intelligent thing they did was okay. convince poor people that money isn't happiness. And I think they did that to prevent revolts. I'm not saying money is the only thing that can make someone happy. I'm not saying money alone will make you happy. But money is certainly a factor to, to happiness. Yeah. It's kind of, yeah, you agree, right? It's like water, right? Water won't make you happy. But if you have no water after a week, you need water. It's all you think about, right? I thought he was talking about Walter. Who the fuck is this Walter? He was saying water. Why he say water like that? I thought he was saying Walter. It's the same deal. You can't go without it. So the rich people always say money doesn't buy happiness, but do they ever give their money away? Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, so you give your money away? I have a charity, which I own, which takes Chat care said of he looks dogs zesty. in Romania. So I rescue dogs. That's really lovely. Thank you. See, we're getting along now. Oh, that's really that nice. See, look, it's much better. That's like, right. do charity work, glasses are off. We're so getting I'm actually there. connecting with a real human. I'm a real human. You look really nice. Yeah, and you smell nice. Thank you. I'm, uh, yeah. What cologne? Of you, of course. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to see someone make the effort, you know? Where I'm from, in Eastern Europe, I, I always wear a suit because we, we can carry weapons over there. Here in London, it's a little bit different. We have to take security with us. But where I'm from, you have the jacket because you have the strap. It's a different, different game. Jesus. So you can walk around with us. No. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Any enemies are watching. Yes. Listen, I'm ready. Let's leave it at that. But I'm very security money, conscious. Baby, money, baby, money, baby. Uh. Mr. Worldwide, no Mr. Local. Shut up. Bro, clean your ears. He said water. He said Walter. Now, and I think that there's a difference. Bro, between clean your ears. He said water. Fighting and violence. And even though I'm a professional fighter, if you want to be a professional violence, you need a weapon at some level. Okay. That's my answer. Interesting. Oh, more grilling on Fourth of Julie. Just imagine in these scenarios, we are together. Okay. okay. What would you do if I wanted to start an OnlyFans? Oh, Jesus. Look at this lady. She's trying to get butt naked like Corinna. Look at this lady. Look at what's going on. I don't think there's anything intrinsically wrong with women doing OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. As long as I had influence and control over it. Mm. What do you mean? Do you be the photographer and get the angles, yeah? No, 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 no. I'm not doing any real work, but just like taking all the money. If my chick said, I want to do OnlyFans, I'm like, all right, then cool, go do it. How much you made? Ten grand, all right, give me eight. All right, cool. All right. Why would, what woman is going to give you eight grand? Because she's, it's my, you're my woman, you're doing OnlyFans, you're selling my product. What the fuck? Your product. Yes, the correct. Not, she's not Next your question. Position. No. Product? Like, do you own me? No, no, sorry. Like, your ego is a bit too big. You don't own me. I'm not a product. I'm not an object. Okay, Mr. Tate? I'm just answering I don't, it. Are you actually, I don't know if you're being serious. I'm totally that. serious. How would I let my chick do OnlyFans and keep all the money? That's disrespectful. What woman is ever going to give you that? Then she better not do OnlyFans. Duh. Oh my God. That upset her, didn't it? It upset her to say that you're mine, and if you're mine and men want to pay for it, then the money is mine. But that's the basic dynamic of a relationship. You're mine. So if you want to sell what is mine, that's fine, but I need to get paid. What would you do if I couldn't cook? That's fine. We eat out every day. No problem. I, I, I haven't had a home-cooked meal in years anyway. No way. No, I eat out nearly every day, three times a day. Oh my God. That's like always traveling, always moving, even when I'm going to the same <coughs> restaurants, so. Do you ever want to just settle down? I feel like your life just seems like it's just. He a child, but she's selling herself like an object. Interesting. Chat, write that down. It's really fast paced. Do you not want just a nice woman? If she cooks for me, that'd be beautiful, but it's not, it's not a deal breaker. Okay, I like that. What if I earned more money than you? Impossible. Never mind. No, 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 impossible. Literally, really? Literally impossible. Is it impossible? Literally impossible. Numbers don't go that high. Next question. <laughs> it's impossible for her to earn more money than me simply because of her ethos towards life. Ethos. Her ethos towards life is about moments and memories. My ethos towards life is about conquest. And those are very, very different things. I completely understand that she enjoys things which are not congruent with trying to conquer Earth. 
she wants time off, she wants holidays, she wants to enjoy time with friends, she wants to do a bunch of things that don't make money. I want to make money. It's impossible she could ever earn more than me because we have completely different life philosophies. Makes sense. What would you do if I didn't like your lifestyle? What, what aspect of my lifestyle? Maybe it was too flashy for me, flying around too much. Maybe I just want you to just slow down and it's a bit too fast pace. I understand. Prof 3TG just, just subscribed. So what are you doing? I don't think I'd listen. My lifestyle got me to where I am and I, I'm a sovereign individual who lives in the way he believes true. I would listen and I would understand it and I would do my best to accommodate, but I don't think I would change. If you were to say, look, you can't do this anymore, I'd say, oh, I'm going to do it anyway, sorry. You know, I'll try and make you feel better about it, but it's going to happen. What if your family didn't like me? That's no big deal. Not a big deal? Nah. The only, the only person I'm super close with is my brother. Okay. And my brother wouldn't dislike you unless he had a reason, like a genuine reason. And if he disliked you, I'd dislike you, so then... That's life. Anyway. Not because he dislikes you, but because we have the same standards of life. There's no way he could dislike you without me disliking you. So it's literally like two of you that have these mad views. My views are not mad. What have I said so far? What? what have I said so far? Women shouldn't be hoes. Man should have some authority because he should take care of his chick. Chicks shouldn't talk to shouting? a bunch of dudes. Why are you shouting? It's important for the mic. No. <laughs> it's important no, for the and mic. And that's it. That's all I've said. And you're, and you're saying I got crazy views. But don't they say like the loudest person in the room is the weakest? Oh, am I weak now? No, but I'm just saying, don't people say that? Let's have an arm like, wrestle. If this is <laughs> Let's have an arm wrestle. Come on, I want to see that. it. Come on. No, you look she strong. do got some. Like... She do got some fucking strong arms. I can't even lie. A nice feminine lady you who do doesn't do like muscles. to do these activities. Okay. What would you do if I wanted to invite other people into our sex life? Well, obviously, I'm gonna ask if it's boys or girls. But even then, even if it was girls, it'd be weird. I think it'd be a bit strange. If I had a girlfriend, she said, "I really want you to f this chick." I'd be like, mm, "This is not the normal feminine mindset. You must not like me." It would just seem odd to me. Something would be up. I re I'm really surprised by that answer. I don't know why. I feel like you'd be the type of person that would want loads of threesomes and stuff and feel like, yes, this lifestyle, I'm the man. Sex in and of itself is boring. Any man who sits and says that sex is great or sex is fun, sound like he just clearly hasn't had enough sex because sex is boring. Sex is a chore. Sex is like food. You don't really care unless you're really hungry. You fascinated Ooh. with her arms more than her legs, you weird. Motherfucking ninety percent of the video is her upper body. So what are you talking about? We're looking at her upper body literally right now. And you don't care again. And it's one of the, yeah, it's one of those things you you got you do every once in a while because it's an urge, but it's not a real big deal. Like every every person needs food and every person likes food. Have you ever been? In they changed the angle is still her upper body and you talking like I'm looking at something that's not being presented. Like what are you fucking talking about? What are you talking about? Love completely. But I'm talking about having sex and making Compl love. Yeah, different. No, no, no. If you're in love, you might want sex more often. You might be hungry more often. My, my point is that if you're someone who goes through life and only, only, only talks about and cares about food, it's a bit weird. Same thing with sex. Sex is something that happens, and it happens between people who love each other, and it's a great thing. But it's not the be all and end all of life. It's really not that great. I don't think sex is the, I don't think sex is the most stimulating and interesting thing in the world. It doesn't matter who the girl is. It doesn't matter if you love her or not. I don't think it's the greatest, best thing in the world. Any dude who's out here is like, wow, wow, two pairs of tits. Just hasn't fucked very much. Just, who think, gives a shit? Do you think you've overachieved so much already? This is why you're kind of like... Mm. Jaded? No. I, I, I just think that men who are super, super interested in, in sex or sexual fantasies of these things are men who are semi-deprived. Angle a, changed an and you food. still have no hairline. What's your point? What are you talking about, man? Shut up. That's your problem. You're, you're deprived. He's talking about you right now. Yeah or sexual fantasies of these things are men who are semi-deprived. You're deprived. He's speaking on you right now. Look at you. Deprived. You have a, an abundance of food. If you have a fridge full of food all the time, you don't eat all the time. Sometimes you just don't want to. It's always there, right? Yeah. But if you're starving, as soon as food appears, you're all over. This brother's starving. Look at his hungry ass. Over. It's the same with sex. Any dude is like, wow, threesome, okay, uh, uh, I, need, I need, I need, it's a guy who's deprived. A guy who has as much as he wants all the time ain't gonna be really that interested in it. So you're comparing normal. women to food, okay. Correct. What would you do if I was going on girls' holidays every other month? I'd have to shut that down. I think it's disrespectful. Do you go on a lot of holidays? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. there with this bullshit. <laughs> what do you like, mean bullshit? Double standard <laughs> shit. This man has so many double standards. Like, it actually doesn't make sense. I'm, I think he honestly believes, like, his own rubbish. It's not double standards. Yes, it is. There's different standards. But I'm saying, but if you're out every month doing this, doing that, Correct. I'm going to do the same no, to keep no, myself no. entertained no, and no, occupied. No. Yes, is what you think? I'm going to wait at home for you. Yes. 
and just wait there and look like an idiot, they'll yes. probably see you upload you on Instagram, like, here's this lifestyle, and you see you have loads of women around you. You don't look like an idiot, you. No. you look like a loyal woman, as you should. There's, there's no way I would allow my, you, there's no way I would allow you to go on all these girls' holidays. That's very disrespectful. I'm a territorial man. That does not mean jealous or insecure. It means I care about you. Anything I care about, I want to protect and love. It doesn't matter how, it doesn't matter how much you love me back. It doesn't, matter, it doesn't matter if no man on earth could talk you into bed. It's not about that. It's about the disrespect. But if it's I, okay for you to disrespect me. It's okay. not disrespectful for me to go on holidays with my, or go work with my boys. What if my, my holidays are work trips? No, no, no. That's impossible. You're not running the world like I am. That's bullshit. How do you know? I know these how things. Do don't lie to me. This is what I'm saying, but you wouldn't. Don't lie to me. It's absolutely disrespectful for a woman to be with a man and then want to run around with her girls and pretend she's still single. She shouldn't even want to. The fact she even asked to go in and of itself is disrespectful. I shouldn't have to tell her not to do that. Listen, I will call all of my girls and go on a girl's holiday just to piss you off, mate. What if I went on holiday twice a year with the girls? You wouldn't want to. I definitely wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. No, you're with me. You don't want to. We go on holidays together. We go places together. When I have to go places with just the boys, you stay home. You do not go on girls' holidays. It's disrespectful. I find it disrespectful. It's like a slap in the face. How is it? Because why would you want to do that if you're with a man you love? You wouldn't how would you want to do that? Want I shouldn't have to tell it. you not to do that. So you're going to have me just at home looking stupid whilst you're doing that lifestyle? How do you look stupid? Yeah, but I'm saying, if you're just going to go up and do lifestyle... You're obsessed with people thinking you look no, stupid. I'm, yeah, I'm no. obsessed with the double people, standard. No, actually. people will look at you and go, wow, she is a loyal wife but that's for you and your ego but this is for your it's not about obeying yeah it is she loves her man she doesn't need to go on none of these girls holidays to ibiza run around being a hoe she's over all that shit it could just be like women just go on holiday to have fun and men will try and sleep with you so so does that mean the women are? Correct. This, this is what I'm saying. You agreed. Need to this no, no, you agreed. Have, no, but agreed. You have to it's not warped reality. It's not warped reality. We agree. Is going we agree. On. No, you're not moving on to the next question. Yes, no, on. we agree. Okay. We this agree. You're right. They're going to try, and you're not going to let them. I agree. If I walk out to the car park, it doesn't matter how good the locks are on my car. If someone's trying to break into my car, am I going to let them keep trying? No. No. It's disrespectful. It's mine, and no one comes near it because it's mine. No one's going to try and steal it. For me to I'll put it in a place where people are going to try and steal it is nothing less than irresponsible. My female is taken care of and has a fantastic life. She does not need to go on holidays to f***ing make an awesome, be a hoe on some random table. Know, but that's some random table because her friend met some dude on f***ing Tinder. No, no stay home. Stay Tinder. home. Yeah, but it's not, but this is like, I feel like you're but he keeps yelling. Like this whole like controlling and manipulating. It's not controlling. Yes, it is. To say, to say to, to say, a, yeah, but the way you just said it, yeah, with that kind of like, Tenacity. Yeah, like to, for me, it's just yeah. It's not controlling to say to your okay. woman, okay. If you want a holiday, you we'll go. To, yeah, the way I said it angered you yeah. because everything I say is deliberately designed to anger you. It's you have this power and control issue, and I feel like it's just mad. It's like, not power and control. Going on holiday with your like girls going on holiday with their friends is not an unreasonable thing. It's a normal thing. Women should be able to do it. In but some relationships. Okay. okay. But in my okay, relationship. Just not in this one. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Cool. Interesting, you, Chad. Would you let your girl go on holiday with her friends? Interesting, Jack. What is going on out here? Life is getting out of hand. We just met, and we've had a one-night stand, and I've got pregnant. The baby's innocent, right? I'd look after the child. It depends on a lot of scenarios afterwards. I'd make sure the child's financially taken care of. If you were prepared to be a loyal woman, I'd make sure you were taken care of. If you're going to start sleeping with other dudes, whatever, whatever, then it's your problem. The baby's your problem. It's all your problem. But if you're going to be loyal to me still, then I'd take care of you. But if you're going to start saying, oh, no, I've got a new man now, cool, he can pay the bills and it's not my problem. No, when you have a child, that's your responsibility. No, but if you want to start sleeping with other dudes, then it's his problem. It's an accident, right? So you shouldn't be punished in life, and the child's absolutely and utterly innocent. I would take care of you completely. And I'd take care of the child completely. And I'd always want to see the child. But if you were to say now, after, let's say, a year or two years, whatever, I have a new man now, blah, 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 I'm like, all right, cool. Kid's with me twice, two days a week, whatever it is. I'll make sure the kid's looked after. But I'm not financing you in another man's lifestyle. I'm not just sending money to your bank at random and just making sure that you and this dude, whoever he is, are going on holiday and whatever, whatever. I'll take care of the child while, while he or she is with me. And I'll always see the child. But if you have a new your man, hairline you're a new man. Is you what that is getting out of hands. No, but I like you, you still need to cover some sort of responsibility there. It's not, so, not some asking sort. you to pay my whole rent, I'm just saying. Okay, some sort, yeah, but some sort is a, is no, a no, reasonable no, balance. Saying, I agree with what you're saying. But they're gonna come along and say, oh, you're rich, give me 10 G's a month, and okay. you're fucking some next dude. The answer's okay, no. but with that scenario, how do you know women aren't gonna try and trap you? I'm not a fool. You're not a fool? I'm not a fool. What do you want? I sound like chat some fools. That's who, that's who the fool is, chat. Y'all goofy asses. Good question, all right. Yeah, I do. Huh? You don't? Do you like receiving it? Absolutely. Not another one. Don't, my dear, listen. Oh, here we go. It's goes. been a long, it's been a long, it's been a long evening and it's been very enjoyable. 
let's not start talking about how men and women are different again. You know, you're, you're yes, I'm no, it's fine. We're opposites, okay, it's how it should be. Women are supposed to do certain things that men can't do. Women are very talented, beautiful creatures. You can give life, we can't do that. It's fine, you can give head, we can't do that. This is not for the G's. I'm not, I don't know who's out here doing this, but it ain't me. Like, I'm sure there's plenty of men out there who will do it. Do you not want to please your woman, though? Uh, there's plenty of ways to please a woman without doing that. That's a big factor. That's a good one, essentially. Ma maybe for you, I think that it's possible to please a woman without it. Yeah, it can be. Okay, so I, I, don't, I don't think it's something that is conducive to a healthy relationship. It's not something I'm very interested in, personally. Yeah. Maybe I'm crazy. Yeah. That's fine. I'm real crazy. Would you stay friends with an ex? No. You wouldn't? No. Why? Why the f*** would I? But I've maintained like a good relationship. What? What is this? These lies in my... How is it a lie? It could be like a good woman. Let's talk about masculine and feminine friendship. I understand why you'd be friends with an ex. Mm -hmm. Because you can gain things, right? You can, you're friends with that man. He might, I don't know, occasionally buy you some dinner or he might pick you up or he might help yeah, you. Because he's my friend. Yeah, because he's your friend. Correct. Yeah, you no just, things, just a friend. Yeah, yeah. right. Just, yeah, he's just a friend. He'll do some things for you. As a woman, what, friend, what things will you do for him? I'm here. I'm a really good friend, actually. Chat shit on fucking WhatsApp. Anything else? No, I saw them checking on them. Like, the things that I feel like men need, like, we do as women. Men will do real things for you. A female friend won't do shit for you besides try and get attention out of you. That's it. It's like a waste of time to have female friends as a man. Complete waste Reese of time. They don't give you anything. I'm Being friends with an ex, I completely understand why she would do it. The man's gonna get horny. The man's gonna want to message her now and again. The man's gonna want to bang her now and again. The man might do favors for her, X, Y, Z, but she ain't gonna do nothing for him. So any man who is friends with a woman is giving his attention without retrieving and receiving what he wants from a female, which is sex. So it's a mistake. It's a mistake to make. If you give something away for free, it has no value. My attention has value. I don't give my attention to people who don't give me what I want in return. It's a waste of time. What's she gonna give me? Advice? You think I need advice from some ex? The fuck? I need your advice. She's gonna do nothing but sit there and go, hey babe, and send me the old fing selfie trying to get attention again. I see her as a liability. I see her as something for me to pay money for, for someone to pick up, someone to defend if we randomly get an attack on the street, someone to give a shit about without any exchange. And not, what, what, does she, what does she give me? The exchange? Um, advice? Advice? The fuck? What dude is getting <laughs> advice from chicks? <laughs> just, just, what just, dude just is getting advice from girls? Any man who sits there and goes, my life ain't going right, let me text some chick, is a dumbass. He's a dumbass. How is he you should, dumb? Because you should go to your boys, your team. No, because boys do this weird toxic alpha. It ain't toxic thing. alpha. It really isn't, my it dear. It really is. It no. really is. Okay. If, if a man has a serious issue in his life, he can't go to a woman. If a man goes to a woman with his issue, it's not a serious issue. I feel sad my ex left me some dumb shit. Yeah, but right? women can give a They're trying to kill me. <laughs> I need a gun now. You don't text some chick in your phone. You text your boys, because only your men who can help you. I'm in Ukraine, the Russians have invaded, I need a way out. Who's got a car? Oh, Cheyenne, Cheyenne's coming. Do 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 Peugeot 206. Get fucked. Don't lie to me. No, the women can't help you, no, okay, and okay, women okay, cannot help that's you. That's an extreme situation. That but you life's like extreme. This. As a man on the edge, life is extreme, my dear. Life is extreme. Yes, life is extreme. <laughs> said no. What the fuck is going on with you? That was yes, don't lie to me. <laughs> this sounds it's like not the about angrier just version advice. of My point unfit is that and when a man and women are a woman are friends, I think the woman extracts a lot from the friendship and she gains a lot of things, and I don't think the man gains things to an equal value. But can I just explain this? There's actually a lot of women that don't want anything from men. Did turn you, the lights off. Why are you his friend then? Because sometimes there's men that possess amazing qualities and you just want to make them greater. That's what women do. We add value to anything we do. But maybe just the women that you're surrounded by no. probably give no. you that warped perception. No. Because maybe Wrong. they're shit women. Wrong. But the women that Wrong. I know Wrong. are good women that add value to everyone's life. Um, women, women add value completely. I agree. My point is that if you're a man whose life is in order, and many men, who, many men don't have a life in order, right? If you're a man and your life's not in order, then maybe you can get advice from a chick, right? Because there's these guys, there's guys like this. There's the guys who need their girlfriend or their chick to tell them to stop playing video games, or they need their chick to say, maybe you should go to the gym, da -da, like a jackass, right? They need mothers. But if you're a G and your life's in order, right? You're a G. Yeah, if, if you are a G and your life is in order, I'm not saying I am. If your life's in order, Everything's going well, you're making your money, you're in good shape, you've got a good network, everything's on track. You did it all before you met some chick, it's mm -hmm. all on track. The train is it's on track, it's heading track. for success. You don't need female advice, right? Most of the time when a man and a woman are friends, 
the female's extracting attention from the friendship, which I don't blame her for, but females love attention. I don't blame, why wouldn't they, right? They're extracting attention from the friendship. They might get picked up, they might get rides, they might get bought dinner. And on top of that, the man still has certain masculine responsibilities, right? If someone comes up and snatches her purse, he has to run after the dude, risk his life now, risk getting stabbed for some chick who doesn't suck dick, blah, blah. Whereas what does the man get from the woman? Advice, is that it? A woman, can't, a woman can't give the man anything outside of a romantic relationship. Inside of a romantic relationship, she can give him, she can give him love, she can give him care, she can give him protect his spirit, she can add peace to his life. Yeah, uh, hey, yeah. Hey. that's what we can add. So as, a rom like, as a romantic partner. Us, underscore Gamma Rai just subscribed. LTZ notes Shit. write that down chat. Uh, Friend. No, they it's can't. Okay. That is a lie. Okay. You lied to me. A woman who is not romantic with the man cannot add genuine peace yes, to that man's can. life. Yes, they Fucking can. Fucking lie. Yes, lie, they can. Lie, lie. Okay. Who are you lying to? Okay, but this is what I'm saying, but you just who think women are only good to? for like, just if they're there sexually. It's not about being there sexually. Yeah, but it it's is because they've just, like, you've just a said. Woman, a woman's job is to spiritually protect her man. Yeah, but man. you can do it with a friend. You can also do that. Listen, I pray for all of my friends. You're perception of women is messed up because maybe it's just the certain women that you know. Stop, stop trying to pretend by. I know bad no, women. No, but I'm saying, but that, that's clearly what it is. <laughs> that's that's clearly what it is. No, it's not. Because there's plenty of other good women and this is why for me it's exhausting explaining this to you because there's so many good women. I can't obtain anything I'm interested in from a friendship with a female. Okay. It's no hard feelings to girls. I don't have any female friends, not one. So it's just more because men would want to fuck their friends. Men do want to fuck their friends. Yeah. That, that's a separate... Okay, so that's why. No, no, no. Okay, that's no. what it is really. Then. No, that's a separate argument. That's a completely separate argument that we can go into if you want. No. Every single man wants to fuck his female friend because if, a, if all these girls go, he's just my friend. Yeah, put on 20 stones, see if he wants to talk to you. Fuck no. Oh yeah, protect your spirit when you're fat. Oh, you can't do it anymore. You lost your spiritual powers, now you're ugly. Isn't that funny? Ooh, how'd that work out? It's bullshit, man. The man's trying to get laid and the chick's enjoying attention. And I'm telling you that as a man, you obtain nothing from a female friendship. You obtain nothing but responsibility without authority. You're gonna sit there and say, I'm her friend, I'm gonna take care of her, I'm gonna hang out with her, I'm gonna take her to the cinema and buy her a ticket and she's gonna go home with some other dude. Stupid. I'm not saying I won't Stupid. be polite to be, hi, nice to meet you, good to see you, bye. I'm never gonna be like, hey, let's go for dinner. We're just friends. Why? But friend dates is a thing. This is, uh, no, but, no, because like, this is, my no, brain. But this, no, but this is what I'm saying to you, because it, it needs to be normalized, yeah. because if you don't have any female friends, you're just basing all your philosophies on just women that you don't even talk to. Men who pretend to be friends with girls are just trying to get laid because there's nothing else to do okay. with a friendship with a girl but trying, trying to get laid. Okay. It's just some bait and bullshit trying to pretend to get laid. Okay. If they, well, they were G, if they were G, they'd just try, she'd say no, and then move on with their life. No, they wouldn't. Yes, they would. Okay, I've got a long list of good male friends, so we'll, sure. we'll just agree to disagree on this. Put, okay. on ten, put on 10 stone and text them. Good luck. This Chat, put on 10 stones and text the girl. We'll see what happens, you goofy ass. Andrew, what's the um, War Room? The War Room is an organization I run okay. for individuals who are trying to escape the Matrix. Like, so can women join it? So women love the Matrix. So what's your Matrix? No, the, the Matrix. The Explain Matrix. It. I don't understand. Have you seen the movie? Yeah. So we're living inside of a simulation, right? We're all slaves on some level. And I have an organization which helps people achieve the independence from the systems which yes. are designed to constrain us. So I can join it? No, women love control. Women love control and women love systemization. So do you. I love control? Yeah. What, 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 what aspects of my life do I enjoy having control? Well, with the way I've been analyzing this date. Okay, analyze it, yeah, go on. No, it's just I'm this. interested. No, go, I'm, go. Just saying, I'm just saying it's a very power dynamic control thing. I like having sovereignty. I like having control of my own life. I don't like anyone having control over me. And that's what the Matrix does. Whereas fem females, I don't think, have that same mindset towards the world. I don't think women wake up and realize that they live inside of a, a large penal colony and need to find a way to escape. I don't think they do that. Yeah, we do. Do you? Yeah. T what enslaves humanity? There's a lot of people that are very conscious to life in situations. Interesting. And stuff. I feel like it's very small minded for you to just think that women can't join your matrix. Well, it's not small minded because it's mine. So firstly, I'm allowed to do whatever I want. Okay. And secondly, I think that my organization runs best without female participants. And it's not saying that the female in and of herself will be a bad person or an unworthy participant. Mm -hmm. I just think the organization is better if it's purely male. Okay. For the same reason you don't have women on the front line. Like when it's all men, you focus on the task. When there's a chick around, there's some showing off, there's some trying to impress the chick. There's, it just dilutes the yeah. efficiency. But I feel like you would attract entitled women. Maybe to a degree, but I, I also think that like everything in life, there's balance. I would 
completely understand a woman who said, I won't date broke men. But a woman who were to sit here and say, I want X money, I'd already get fucked. So it's a balance, right? I understand why a woman wouldn't want to date a man with no money, but I also would never allow a girl to treat me like a sugar daddy. What is your type, physically? There's all types of beautiful women. Beautiful okay, your beautiful. type. Beautiful, beautiful, this, beautiful. Okay, beautiful, is beautiful. Beautiful is beautiful. Blonde is beautiful. Brunette is beautiful. There's hot brunettes. There's hot blondes. I don't have a type. To say that I only like one particular type of woman is small-minded. I don't think any man thinks that way anyway. I think Chad Maybe thinks that way. But I don't believe in a Chad thinks type. that way. Do you believe you're in bullshit? I don't think anything I've said to you so far is bullshit. Maybe the shoe thing. That's about it. The rest of it's completely true. Some of your views are very extreme, a bit misogynistic. Are they? And Do you? a little bit of an ego. So if you had a boyfriend, would you have male friends? I would, but it's just you've just got to know how to have boundaries with friends. I'm not going to be calling that friend past 8 o'clock. If your man said, I'm uncomfortable you having male friends and you love me and we're together forever and we're about to have a child or about to get married, whatever, Stop talking to them all, would you stop? No. I believe in compromise, but not that, because now it's a control issue. End of day, as long as I make you feel like you're my man, you're my king, and everything else like that, that's not on me if you're insecure that I have male friends. Do you think that's that, a you problem? Do you think that's no, insecurity? That's a you yes, it is. It's a you problem. I don't think that's insecurity. Okay. It's not insecure then. Territorial, maybe, but not insecurity. That's life. Andrew, how do you think you've done on the day? I think that I've. I love my black queens, but I don't discriminate. Everything in a far nicer way. In terms of purely attracting you, I don't think I've done that well. But it's been an interesting conversation. And I think that us both having an interesting conversation. And you've made me think a few times. I hope I said things that made you think a few times. And I think that's more important than just purely the attraction. So I've enjoyed myself. Yeah, me too. Good. That was hard work. We actually agree on everything. I was trying my best to say things in a way that she couldn't allow herself to agree with them, but we actually agree on everything. I think she's smart enough to want a man who's in charge of his life and by extension would be in charge of the relationship and by extension would be in charge of her. But if you say it in that way, it upsets her. I don't even know, my mind's a bit, like he was just draining, exhausting. Like men like that, that actually think like that and actually believe what they're saying, like it's mentally exhausting. Uh, there was a point when I wanted to say Sniper out now on all digital platforms. I didn't say that yet. I wanted to bring that one out and I didn't. But uh, besides that, we did good. That's the only answer I missed. No. I swear to I God. I would not see Andrew again. Do I look like I'm going to see him again? No. Yeah, exactly. I'm a busy man. I'm a busy man. Actually, no, I will. Do you know what? I will see him again because I'm going to prove my point that men need women as friends. How about that? I said some things she agrees with and some things that deep down she knows are true, but I send them in a way which were deliberately abrasive and offended her, so I think she's going to be a six and a half or so. Right, so this guy, he's egotistical, he has a delusional mindset on women, and he thinks he's a bit too nice. However, I feel like he did have a good conversation. He is a man that knows what he wants, he get, obviously gets what he wants, so you can't knock it. And he looks nice, so I'm going to give him a six. Life chat. That is life chat. That is life chat.